Okay, hey everybody. I think that I'm live, but I'm not sure. Let me see if I can flip the screen. Okay, I think we got it going the right way. And I was going to try to do this on my iPad as well as maybe if I pressed record, that would work. I'm not sure if that's going to work. Okay, well, hey everybody. I see that there are a few jumping on, and if you will just let me know where you're watching from. And sorry, while I get this all adjusted. We're gonna have a really fun time when I try to get this camera set up the right way because I've been working on trying to get my iPad set up and also using my iPhone from the overhead view. And I can't get my iPad set up because you know me. I'm technically, is it technically challenged or technologically challenged? Technologically Both challenged. of them, whatever they are. So, Olivia is gonna be reading the comments and let me know, like I said, where you're watching from and if you want to let me know your kids' names so I can say hey to them. If you're watching, wow, could you like move that um, light back? Because I see these awesome circles in my glasses. It's really crazy. If you're watching on the replay, type replay in the comments and also let me know where you're watching from. And if you would, if you would like to, share it on your profile and then come back and type shared so I can come back and thank you. So this week I am going to do some art classes with your kids. I'm going to try not to make them cry, but I don't promise. And let me get myself pulled up on my laptop here so I can see any comments. I'm gonna need that when I do the painting. You okay over here? Yeah, I think so. And let me make sure that's muted. Can you see me, Olivia? Because all I see is a black screen. I see you. Okay, I am going to Will you just turn switcher off since I didn't get that going? Oh, I see what I did. I am confusing myself. All right, so let me just show you, first of all, everything that we're gonna do today. Not today, we're not gonna do it all today. Everything we're gonna do this week. So today we are going to do the let me figure out how to hold this again. Y'all know I'm so awesome on Facebook Lives. This is Bye Bye Beach. And this is like, you know, how you can ride in the sand. And you don't have to put that on there. If you just want a cute little beach scene, just do that. Or you can write whatever message you want to. So this is today. You're going to need um, a canvas. I'm just using a canvas panel. It is eight by 10. You're gonna want some kind of artist tape. This is painter's tape, and if you don't have that, masking tape would probably do. Just make sure you <clears throat> rub it on like your t-shirt or your jeans just to get a little fuzzy, and that way it won't rip your paint off when you use it. And then, of course, a paper plate for your palette. And then all I'm gonna use are five, uh, five different colors of acrylic craft paints. I have got a teal. This one is by, I've got, this is Deco Art Americana and it is Desert Turquoise. And then I've got a white by Americana, but I'm just telling you the names of them in case you have these. You can use the same colors, but use what you have. And then the rest of these are Craft Smart. I'm using Aqua for the sky and I'll probably lighten that up even more a golden brown or a tan color for the sand. And then I'm gonna use just a little bit of a medium brown. This is called espresso. And that's to do the writing in the sand. So I'm gonna set those aside where 
give you time. Oh, let me grab these. Of course, you need some water and paper towel. I've got a cloth in my hand. I got some water in there. And then you can use whatever brushes you have. I will probably use the sponge brush to smear it around um, or this one, whichever one. I don't know. And then I'll use this little bitty one to write. And then this one I might use, you could actually use the tip of this one or the tip of this one, but for the foam on the ocean. So I got distracted. I wanted to show you all of the paintings that we're gonna do this week. So like I said, today is the Bye Bye Beach. Tomorrow is this one. You are going to love this. This is oil pastels and this is We'll Miss You Wildflowers. It is so easy. This one will probably have done in less than 10 minutes. Even though it looks complicated, it is the easiest one we'll do. I keep getting out of the camera shot. Maybe I'll move my chair. And then, what is Wednesday? I think Wednesday is Farewell, farewell Fireflies. And this is just using cardstock and gel pens. So grab your gel pens. Oh, Olivia, I was wanting you to put a link. I'll do that since I didn't tell Olivia to do it ahead of time. Okay. Put it in the comment section. Well, I've got it right here on my computer. And our dryer is done if you hear it singing. Can everybody see me and hear me okay? If so, let me know. And Olivia, you'll have to read me the comments. You want me to go now? Please. All right, so Chris Pepper Folk says she is from Con Conway, South Carolina. Um, hey, Chris. She has shared the video and she's here with her kiddos, Addison, who is 13, and Britton, who is five. Hey, Addison. Hey, Britton. Those are awesome names. Yeah. I see um, Charlotte, Savannah, and Raleigh are joining us, and Mama Erin. Hey, Erin. And hey, see, this is awesome. When I put my glasses on, I can read comments too, so you can help me out. But I also see, um, oops, who is that? It just jumped out of my. Well, there's Drew Garner from Covington, Georgia with Ella Kay. Awesome, Ella Kay. These are our Georgia peeps. See, everybody in Georgia and the South, for that matter, knows that we don't say so long to summer break. We, well, we say so long to summer break, but not summer, because we have summer, what, nine months out of the year? Yeah. It's really sad. Hey, Yvette. Okay. I think that I put that link in the comments. Yes, it's come up. Okay, if you want to see a full supply list you can click on my amazon store page you don't have to buy them through amazon but i have highlighted all the ones that we're going to be using all this week and it's under the so long summer break list so just click on that link and you'll see i think all the supplies except crayons i didn't put crayons on there because everybody's got crayons even in a house of adults how many packs of crayons we do we have, have? So many. <laughs> that's olivia in the background if you hear her talking to Hello me there. Okay, back to, I am squirreling big time. Back to <laughs> our projects. We are going to do, hello. Okay, I just couldn't come up with a fun alliteration for this one. I was going to say, parting is such sweet sorrow, popsicles, <laughs> but that was pretty stupid. Oh, I shouldn't say that. That was pretty silly. So I just put parting ways with popsicles. So if you've got a better title, go for it, which leads me to the worst title of all. <laughs> Toodles, doodle lettering. It's a summer quote. Get it? You're looking at me like. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. Um, so this one is just going to be with like a pen, a permanent black ink pen and markers. And if you don't have mixed media paper for this one, you can just use copy paper. So. All right, I need, Olivia just ran out of the room and I'm gonna need her, she'll be right back. So if you haven't had a chance to swing over to Masterpiece Society, if you do, you'll there'll be the very first pop-up. It's a little swinging, annoying pop-up, but it's so that everybody can see it and you won't miss it. And it is the supply list and the popsicle template and then there's over 30, golly, I wish I'd hold these on the right side. It confuses me. 
over 30 summertime quotes for our quote on on Friday. So you don't have to actually do the same quote I'm doing and you don't have to do the same letters for that matter. You can actually just do your own quote and I encourage you to make up your own letters because that's what doodle lettering is all about. So, all right, I think that is everything. When you do pop over to Masterpiece Society to get that PDF packet, you'll be signing up for our email list. And don't forget that you can actually get this free lesson if you haven't done that. This is one of our most popular lessons and it is super simple and so much fun. So I love this bird. I'm a bluebird freak. They're my favorite. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to help me. Well, first of all, let's try to get this. I'm gonna lay the canvas down and try to turn the camera and hopefully it's gonna work. Would you have to flip it upside down? Yeah. This way, we will see. And I'm gonna need to, can you check to see what it's? Yeah, it hasn't quite got there yet. You're flipping okay. it down. Okay, you need to angle it a little tail in and out. Oh, okay. So you wanna read me some more comments? I see Juliana from Florida. Hey, Juliana. Oh, it's 95 degrees where Aaron is. Yeah, it's only 83 here today, but humidity is very thick. Lacey from Tennessee. Hey, Lacey and Mom Melanie. The Wilds are from Texas where it's very hot because that's where my husband's from. And she's got, did I already say? No, I didn't. Elliot, Riley, and Noble. Hey, guys. Thank y'all for joining us. Olivia, you'll have to go back and check to see if I missed anybody. Okay. And once again, I would love it if you shared this on your profile. And come back and let me know if you shared it. All right, can, is this turned the right way? Yes. All right, so here is our Bye Bye Beach. And... Okay, I've got a delay, so I can't really tell if I'm still in the camera shot. But I'm going to be using the colors I showed you. And I'm just gonna put my paper plate right here. This is gonna be my darkest blue. And if you don't have a turquoise, then just use a dark blue and mix in some yellow and white till you get it to the color you want it to be at. And here is my, what did I say that was? Aqua for the sky. They look kind of similar, but when they dry, they're completely different. And I'm not gonna pour out the brown yet, but I will do the tan. And if you have any questions, go ahead and type them in and Olivia will read them. She's my trusty little co-pilot. <laughs> And I'm gonna dump out my white. Whoa, I really dumped out my white, that's awesome. <laughs> Did you read from Melissa Price? I don't think so. She said they are watching from California and her three kids, Ethan, Evangeline, and Emmett. Ethan, Evangeline, and Emmett. Hey kids, and thank y'all for tuning in all the way out in California. It's probably not even lunchtime there yet, is it? About 11, 11, 14, where'd I put my canvas? I'm getting confused. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And the first thing that we're gonna do is take some tape. If you don't have tape, then you can just be super careful with your lines, but this really helps you not to have to be so careful. And I'm not gonna put it in the center. I am going to come up about maybe two thirds from the bottom. I'm going to tear that off. And I'm just gonna yeah, maybe right there. And just tape it around. And the first thing we're gonna take care of is our sky. And the reason we've taped that off is because we want, I'm gonna hold it up because I'm looking at it in a crazy way. This may be crooked, but you can do your straight. We got, we're gonna want a really nice horizon line. So I'm gonna take my sponge brush and I'm gonna dip it in my aqua but as you see, I'm gonna be mixing it a little bit with my white because I want a sky blue. 
and I actually probably should have covered my table beforehand. I've already told y'all how I have spilled Mod Podge on this table several times and my husband had to strip it off and, and refinish it, but it's just the kitchen table, so oh well. So you can see I'm just moving my brush along in horizontal stripes, not really stripes, strokes, that's the word I'm looking for. And I'm already painting my table, but I'll come back real quick and get that off. And I'm not mixing it. You can see that there's a little bit of white in there because we want the sky to look straight. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. And then you can take the tip of your brush and it probably will be easier using just a regular brush like this, but I'm just gonna use my sponge brush and just make some clouds. That's too much right here. But I'm just making them also horizontally. And if you put too much, you can blot it a little bit or come back later when it dries. I'm actually not loving using this sponge brush for the clouds, so I'm gonna come in with this one. Make them look a little more cloudy. And if you want to make them puffy, go ahead. Make your happy little clouds. Happy little clouds. I should have set my Bob Ross thingamabob. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Pop vinyl? Pop vinyl. I should have set him out. He could have helped us. I would be embarrassed for Mr. Ross to see my clouds. <laughs> Uh, Meredith Wiles says they are from Richmond, Texas. Elliot, Riley, and Noble, they are 11, 8, and 5. I've already said hey to them. Okay. Then there's Lacey from Tennessee. But hey again. Henry from Ohio. Hey, Lacey. Hey, Henry. Sophia from North Georgia. Hey, Sophia. Ooh, what part of North Georgia? Well, she might not want to say, but we're in North Georgia. We're close to Athens. Between Athens and Gainesville. Okay, I've made this like completely, totally cloudy, so I'm gonna just, that's the fun thing about acrylic paints. If you don't like it, you can just paint over it. And so that's what I'm gonna do, just add a little bit more blue. I didn't mean to go so crazy with my clouds. Sorry, Olivia, go ahead, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, that was you. it. And also, and now I'm just picking up the straight aqua and just adding some darker, striations in the sky up here. You can't really go wrong with this. I say that the wildflowers is a super easy one, but this one's super easy too. They all really are. The only one that's gonna require a little bit more are the popsicles, but we provided you a template for that. So all I'm really doing right now is just covering back up some of the clouds that I didn't like too much. Chris Pepperfolk has asked if you could slow down just a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will try, but we will leave the video up. And if I go too fast, then you can go back and watch it and rewind it. And then Olivia will edit them and... We'll re-upload them. Yeah, she will upload them on... The membership site for our studio members which reminds me I have several hundred families on the wait list and our um, I, don't, I just forgot the name of it <laughs> Masterpiece Society studio is opening doors for enrollment next week Monday August the 12th through the 15th and it's the last time this year we're gonna be open to the public. So, and I would give you, I'm gonna give you a hint, you might wanna get in on it now because in 2020, the price is going up because we are upgrading our membership site. And so for all new members in 2020, their price will be more than it is this year. But if you get in at the price this year, then you'll always be grandfathered in. 
So one thing that I want to do before I forget is just take a little bit of white it's on the tip of my brush. I keep looking over there to see if I have it on the camera, mm -hmm. but let's see. I think that that's the camera. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just want to, right at the tape line, just add a little bit of white. Now I gotta find where my tape line is, there it is. And it can blend in with the blue, but we want the horizon to have just a, a little bit softer white to it. It doesn't have to be solid white, we just want, is that, I hear, no, I hear a cat meowing. We locked up our craziest kitty. <laughs> <laughs> in my husband's study right next door to us, so she might be fussing in a bit. It would be quite embarrassing to have her jump up on the table right in the it middle. It would. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna stop for a minute and let y'all catch up, but I am gonna go ahead and just turn on my um, heat it tool. Hopefully it won't be too loud. It's pretty loud. And I don't want to keep you here all day, so that's why I'm just going to dry this a little bit. And now that I see that I've covered up some of my clouds, I do want to come back in and just add a little bit more white. In just random places. Have I slowed down enough? <laughs> I'm like... I think I feel like I need a little bit more white right in here. Yeah. But that's too white. So if you put too much white, add a little bit of blue. If you don't feel like you have enough blue, or too much blue, then add a little bit of white. And you can just go back and forth until you get what you want. So let me put this back in the camera shot. So here is my sky and as you can see there, look I nicked my fingernail. As you can see there, I've got a little bit of a white horizon. It's not a big deal if you forget to do that, but anyway, it's just a little tip to leave your horizon a little lighter. I don't think it actually took on this because I couldn't see where my tape was. But I am going to Flip this over and just start pulling the tape off. And I'm gonna reuse this tape, so I'm gonna try to be careful. Just very slowly. Are there any more comments? Chris uh, did reply that you are going slow enough now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> okay, let me hold this up and look at it. It looks a little like I've got a little too much white on this side that maybe my tape was um, crooked, mm -hmm. but I don't care. And I'm gonna blow this uh, dry a little bit more if you want to read any more comments. Mm -hmm. That's all they need, a little more. Thank you all for sharing and for showing up. So much easier when I can record these in the privacy of my own home and I can edit out all the silly things I say. But here I just have to keep going. So I apologize if beforehand if I, <laughs> if I say something silly. Okay, so what I'm doing is I am switching where I've got it taped. So you Make sure yours is very dry before you do this. 
and I'm taping my brush and dragging paint all over the table again. So see what I'm doing? I am using right here at the edge, I'm going to put the tape right back on it. And I'm going to cover up what I just painted. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to my blue, or my teal. What, what did I say the name of this one was? Desert Turquoise. And I'm gonna come right back up to this line. And we don't want to paint the whole white canvas. We want to leave some lines for the beach. We're gonna come back with the tan and paint our sand. But we definitely wanna get a good coat of our turquoise or teal or blue-green color for our ocean. And you don't have to be precise down here. You don't need a straight line. In fact, you can just move it and make it look like the water is coming up on the beach. I do have this recorded in the Masterpiece Society studio in the Masterpiece Moms section. We did this last year. We didn't put Bye Bye Beach on it, but um, this is a fun and easy painting that we've done at our church on the big 16 by 20 canvases. And it's something, it's so super easy. It's a quick win. So has everybody started back to school already or do you school year round? Or are you waiting for a certain date? Our public school system started back this past Friday. And then this week, the rest of the ones around, the rest of the schools around started. Any comments? None new yet. All right, then I'm gonna move along. Y'all just comment when you can, when you want to. It's probably hard to type and paint at the same time. <laughs> it's hard for me to paint and think at the same time. I am gonna clean my brush and my mug of water here. Chris says that they are homeschooling and they have started, so they're already a couple weeks in. Oh, that's awesome. It's really a lot better than I don't know, I'd rather be inside in the air conditioning homeschooling than. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I think we, we always started around the 1st of August. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm gonna take my tan color. In fact, I'm gonna add just a little bit of white. I just dipped it in the tan and then I dipped it in the white. And I'm just gonna let it blend on my canvas. I'm just gonna follow it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna come back and add our sea foam, but I'm gonna follow the line of blue. I saw that Yvette had said that they were homeschooled and then Melissa Price has just said that they homeschool in California too. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Look, I just threw white all over the place. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's okay, it can be some of the white caps in a bit. But what I meant to do was just add a little bit of white to my sand. 
and I actually added a lot of white, so I'm gonna smear it around. Quit. My daughter is sitting over there <laughs> laughing at me. You are just too funny, Mom. Hmm. One thing to remember is, you know, if you've been to the beach, which probably everyone has, especially my Floridian friends and the Californians, we have darker sand closer to the water because it's wet and it gets lighter as you go up to the beach because the sand gets light and sometimes even white. So you want to remember to make your darkest sand closer to the, the water line. <laughs> Olivia is starting to quote Anakin Skywalker. Christy Gulledge, I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I butchered your name. Um, we homeschool and go year round, but they kicked off the new curriculum today. Awesome. Uh, ben Rice says, homeschool here in South Florida. Oh, man, that would be awesome to homeschool in Florida. It would be fun. You could go Field to Disney trip. World. Oh, you, <laughs> Field trip I'm thinking Disney beach. World. You're thinking Disney World. Okay, so I am going to add in a little bit more white and try not to sling it all over my thing this time. But you see how I'm making it a little bit lighter towards the bottom of my canvas. All I see are the clumps of paint. I promise y'all that I will clean my table and I will talk real sweet to my husband when he gets home and he won't mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's hard to see. Oh, you know what? We never turned the light back. That's what I needed you for. Could you turn that light around? That might help because I see that it is a little dark. It needs to come over here so that it can get beyond the... Thank you. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to leave that as it is right now, and I'm gonna clean my brush again. And my ocean is probably about 85% dry. And what I want to do is just pick up, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm taking the edge of my brush, and I'm just dabbing, dabbing it in the white, and then I'm getting a little bit of it off because we want it to be not straight and not perfect. We want this to look like the sea foam when the waves crash on the beach. You can wait till your sand is dry if you want to do that. Sorry, Chris, I'm going fast again. Did I just knock his camera? Just a little bit. Also, the canvas is a little bit to the right of the screen, so if you were to put, nudge it that way. Like that? Yeah, just well, a little bit more like an oh, inch or so. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. And I like just dabbing it like that because it looks like it's spraying. Hey, we should have put on like some beach sounds. <laughs> you want me to play some? That's okay. Why don't you just do that with your mouth? Nah, stop. Please stop. <laughs> Ooh, that one's really it's really why there hmm it's just really foamy yeah and you can make your foam come out even further like that if you want to I still didn't move this over quite enough did I I think it looks fine okay so once your sand is a little drier you can do that and if your if your ocean is dry then you can do the same thing with waves, we got some waves building out in the ocean. I think that's a little too dark, so, I mean too bright, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of my blue, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm just mixing in a little bit of my blue with the white. 
No, oh, that's still too bright, but oh well. So just make random waves. They can curve up like that, or they can look like they, what are they called, breakers? Like they're breaking over and crashing. And one thing that you want to do, I don't know if you can see it in this one, but I came back in and I made, I added just some more of the straight blue underneath all my foam because that shows that the wave is building. So just adding that little bit of dark teal to it, turquoise, I keep calling it teal, but it's turquoise. And it just adds some depth to it. Ooh, that was too much. So I'm gonna clean my brush again and I should dry it because it's really wet. And I'm gonna do what I told you, just come back over right up under the foam or the waves and just add another layer. And like right here is too much. You can actually cover that up with some of your blue if you want to. some areas that I didn't cover too well so I'm just gonna use a horizontal stroke there I'm coming back and add in a little bit more underneath these waves all right so I'm gonna stop for a bit hopefully I'm not going too fast for you and I'm gonna just turn my little hand it's a heated tool, but I want to call it a hair dryer. It's not a hair dryer. Olivia uses the hair dryer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and very carefully, first I'm gonna very carefully clean up my mess, at least part of my mess. Kids, don't do this at home. You know, one of the best things, which I don't have, which would be great for you to use, moms, is a, like those dollar plastic tablecloths you can get at the dollar stores and just cover up your table and you can, oops, I got out of line there. And then you can not worry about getting that dirty and then just fold it back up and just reuse it. Or some people like using shower liners. So, let me grab my, oh, I meant to show you this because if you are using a foam brush and you don't have the bristly brush to make the waves. Well, maybe you do have a bristly brush, but you're not so great at taking care of them like me. No, that didn't sound right. You're like me in that you don't take great care of them. And so this is like one of my very old brushes, but I love it. And it, this would make really good foam. Foamy little foam. What am I trying to foamy say? <laughs> Breakers, crashing foamy waves, sea foam, that's it. So the other day we went to Target and it was so embarrassing because I couldn't do self-checkout. And my husband got embarrassed, I think my children got embarrassed, the lady was trying to help me and Olivia and my younger son, they just walked off. I think I was embarrassing we, them. No, we had 
already checked out our stuff. We were just waiting. My husband's like, we can't take her out in public <laughs> very often. I just have trouble with technology. See, technology? I even, technology. I have trouble saying the word. Just give me paint. <laughs> okay, I'm just making my, I'm just showing you how you can use a crazy splayed bristly brush to make these. And then I want to fix right here where I didn't tape down very well. I'm just gonna mix that lighter aqua color with my white and just very carefully cover it so it's not great but it's not a big deal because you can always fix your boo-boos with acrylics it's not like watercolor watercolor you have to work fast and you just kind of get what you get so while all that is drying I am going to add in my brown. If you don't want to write on your beach, then you don't have to. But I'm gonna add a little bit of my darker brown to this golden tan color. And remember that you wanna kind of write it rough because when you take like a stick or use your finger to write in the sand on the beach, you have those little clumps of sand around it. I could have done better at trying to make that effect, but I was just glad that I actually spelled Bye Bye Beach right. <laughs> I was trying to get it done and made a pic make a picture of it so that I could tell y'all we were doing it. I'm a bit behind. So let me move some of these off. Thank you. I've got my dark brown here and my tan here, and I'm just mixing them. I don't want it as dark as I have it. So if you have a color that's in between these, you could just use those. And I'm just gonna start just painting it on there. And don't try to make them straight. In fact, they look cuter if you make them a little wonky. I say that because mine's always gonna be wonky. So if I tell you that it's cuter when it's wonky, then you'll believe me, hopefully. Bye, bye. Any kids crying yet? Have I made any children cry? Because <laughs> you've got to say goodbye to summer break. I'm sorry, it's just the way it is. All good things must come to an end, even summer break. Yeah, I should have actually started over here. Even this brush that I'm trying to use is quite splayed. You can even, are you laughing at me again? No, oh, I'm okay. taking a breath. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so intimidated. Right oh, no, yeah, I feel attacked. This is, this is hard. Okay, I did it. Bye bye Yay. beach. But I really wish I had moved it over just a little bit. You're the one who said it looks better wonky. I meant like the shape of the, the letters, but I would have wanted it a little bit more. You know, this is a little bit more centered, but I didn't have to talk. I could just do it. I didn't have to think too much. And looking at that, my beach is a little bit lighter here. So you might want to add a little bit more darker colors on this on yours than I did on this one. But we are done for today. And I am gonna try to turn you back. This is scary, which way did I do it? Let's, hold on, we're gonna go upside down. We're in the upside down. And then this way, a little too close to my face. Oops. 
<laughs> okay, we did it. And now that ring light is reflecting. You know what? I don't have to read anything, so I'll just look. You're blurry. I can't see you. <laughs> okay. But, but I can't take this. I got to put the glasses back on. Okay. So anyway, y'all join me tomorrow at 3 p.m. again Eastern, and we will create these lovely oil pastel wildflowers. Hey, will you go grab that oil pastel yes. box? I just don't remember where I put it. Look on my art table. Because the reason I'm saying this, in some of the uh, Mixing with the Masters courses, you may have used the, the pintail. I just lost my earring. Mm -hmm. I have all these difficulties. I'll bring those and then that other one. I think they're they're called Mungio. Is that not them that you just picked up? Those. Yeah, that's them. Doesn't say Mungio on it. Oh. Well, it does right there, up under gallery. Oh. Okay, so I was going to show you. These are the oil pastels that we use in like the mixing with the masters courses because. They're really cheap. I think this whole thing was like less than $5. And you get 50 sticks. And they are great. But when we did the Art School Pastels 101 course, we did um, soft pastels. And then we did some with oil pastels. And these, here we go again. These are amazing. They are by Gallery Mungio by Gallery. Gallery by Mungio, they are Artist Soft Oil Pastels. And they're the ones I'm gonna use tomorrow. If you only have like the Pintail Oil Pastels, use those, but they're not gonna be quite as soft and buttery. And if you like buttery pastels, you're gonna love these. So you can grab those. I think that there is a link to those in the art, art store, the Amazon. I put a link in the comments. Did it ever show up? Did yes. you? Oh, okay. So you can click over there just to see what they are. And you don't have to get, this is a 48 count, but you can get just the 12 or the 24 or the 36. But these are awesome. So these are gonna be so quick. We might make two. We might make three. It just depends if I get carried away. And if I have to talk way too much, we'll only have to make one because this is really hard. So, all right. Thank you all for joining me today, and I can't wait to see y'all again tomorrow. And remember, all you're gonna need are oil pastels, and I used mixed media paper for this, so just mixed media paper or watercolor paper. Um, if you don't have either of those, then you can use copy paper. You're just gonna have to go a little bit gentler because we're gonna mix these with our fingers and smear them, and you might want a heavy, quality of paper if you've got that. So thanks again for joining us and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.